when i entered in the room i have a smiling face he said the gentleman zishan obviously i said yes sir uh, he said come in and please gentlemen have a seat i seated on the very first spot he didn't ask me that introduce yourself just like a very usual question roaming on the internet that uh, first of all you should prepare your introduction uh, i was crammed about my introduction but he didn't ask me about introduction he said that gentleman why your name is zishan so it was the first question that i uh, ever time uh, listened in my life so i didn't answer like that sir my father liked this name that's why he gave me a name of zishan no i answered uh, in a very smiling face that sir it doesn't matter what's the name we have it matters that what's the personality we have our personality is clear cut indication of ourselves then he said good gentleman mera naam shiraz ahmed awan hai और मैं आई से दो दफ़ा रिकमेंडेड हूँ मेरी पहली आई पाकिस्तान एयरफोर्स के लिए थी जबकि मेरी दूसरी आई पाकिस्तान आर्मी के लिए बसमिल आई होप यू ऑल पीपल आर डूइंग गर्ड Uh, हमारे साथ आज एक ऐसे कैंडिडेट मौजूद हैं जो 152 फिफ्टी टू पी लॉन्ग कोर्स का इंटरव्यू अभी रिसेंटली क्लियर कर कर आए हैं और आज हम इनके एक्सपीरियंस से जानेंगे कि इनको वहाँ पे कौन कौन सी डिफ़िकल्टीज़ का सामना करना पड़ा इन्होंने अपने आप को कैसे प्रिपेयर किया ये किस ड्रेसिंग के अंदर गए थे और इनसे वहाँ पर क्या क्या सवाल किए गए तो चलते हैं जिशांत की तरफ और इनसे जानते हैं कि इनका इनिशियल एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा first of all i am very thankful to you for giving me a chance to share my experience with the youngsters of foundation and it's very proudful for me that if my interview experience helps a lot to my youngsters then it will be proudful for me uh, first of all uh, before coming in the interview a uh, few suggestions that were given to me by civilians that uh, this that and that matters of most in an interview but I belong to a very village area, uh, very local area. So I has not adopt a good dressing style. My dressing was not good enough. Uh, my dressing was not like that. It can impress the psychologist or others which are sitting in the interview. My dressing was not impressive clearly. Uh, after coming in the center, uh, they give us a pro forma that uh, you should fill it, write an essay in English and Urdu. my essay that was in english was given to me that uh, social media helps how this was my topic and i wrote in this essay that social media helps a lot that uh, it has uh, connected the world as just like a global village we can imp- uh, make our speech impressive uh, it gives uh, some sort of intelligence to us uh, moreover artificial intelligence is also working good my essay was like that but the most important thing in an interview that i think is that what is your bio data form from the bio data form every question is asked by the psychologist when i entered in the room i have a smiling face he said the gentleman zishan obviously i said yes sir uh, he said come in and please gentleman have a seat i seated on the very first spot he didn't ask me that introduce yourself just like a very usual question roaming on the internet that uh, first of all you should prepare your introduction uh, i was crammed about my introduction but he didn't ask me about introduction he said that gentleman why your name is zishan so it was the first question that i uh, ever time uh, listened in my life so i didn't answer like that sir my father liked this name that's why he gave me a name of zishan no i answered uh, in a very smiling face that sir it doesn't matter what's the name we have it matters that what's the personality we have our personality is clear cut indication of ourselves then he said good gentleman after that he asked the reason of joining army then i told him the reason of joining army uh, that was my own reason i have never adopted it from an internet or other social media friends no after that he asked me few question about my merits uh, uh, he said me that in which uh, you are interested except your hobbies i said that i am interested in uh, reading translated urdu holy quran because being a hifzul quran that's my duty also then he asked that why you are interested in translate uh, in reading translated urdu holy quran that i said sir uh, as all we know that holy quran is the perfect code of life without holy quran no one can become a responsible citizen and even i say sir no one can become ashraful makhluq or no one can become a true person without holy quran that's why sir i am studying holy quran so that i can live my life according to the codes of islam after that 
I, as I have told you earlier that I didn't mention on my bar data form that I am interested in speech competitions. No, I have never given even a single indication in my bar data form. But in spite of this, he asked me to speech for about two minutes. He gave me a topic and he asked that gentleman, can you speech on this topic? Then I didn't show overconfidence as yes, sir, I can do it. Yes, sir, fla, fla, no. I simply replied, sir, I will try my best and inshallah, sir, it will be a great speech. He said, okay, gentlemen, start the speech. I started my speech on the topic even after 20 seconds, not one minute, not two minutes. After 20 seconds, he said to me, uh, gentlemen, what uh, you know about your father? I told sir, uh, my father is uh, working in that profession. He has got that scale. After asking this question, he asked me the gentleman, from that word you had stopped your speech, start again from that word. So I think, sir, uh, it was very difficult for me because that was a random topic for me. But I never hesitated upon it. And I started the, uh, upon the word that I remembered in my mind. Okay, maybe I have stopped on that word. I started my speech and uh, uh, approximately after 10 to 15 seconds, he said to me, good gentleman, you can go now. I think that was the indication that he said to me, good gentleman, you can go now. I was uh, about 80% confident that I will be one of the selected candidates. And the time duration during all my interview was just 2 to 2.5 minutes. When I came out, a uh, few candidates that were waiting in the canteen area have already given their interviews. They said to me, your interview was so short, gentlemen. Uh, we think that you don't have the capacity to pass the interview, so they have rejected you. So, but I never disappointed. But my father uh, said to me, being a teacher, that uh, never fail, never think about failure before the exact failure. So I stopped there. The result one uh, announced at and the list that was announced, uh, third name was mine that I am selected in the initial interview. But I will also like to share uh, a con uh, situation that was given to my friend. From my friend, psychologist asked that why you want to join army. Then he said that, sir, uh, in 2013, I met with army officers. I was impressed by their discipline as usually most of the candidates said that, sir, we are inspired from the discipline and we want to join army. So he answered like that, sir, I am also impressed by the discipline, so I want to join army. So his interview was conducted, I think, sir, 30 minutes, 30 minutes long enough interview. I don't know that what's the logic behind that because I don't know about psychology. After 30 minutes, he asked the gentleman, do you have a bike? He obviously every person has the bike and he answers, yes, sir, I have the bike. Then he asked that uh, gentleman, how much distance you have traveled in a single route? He approximately replied, sir, approximately 80 to 90 kilometers in single road. The next comment by the psychologist was a turning point in the initial interview. He said that, gentlemen, if you have the driving license, tell me the number. He, obviously, he don't have the driving license. And how is that possible that he can tell the driving license? Even he said, sir, no, sorry, sir, I don't have driving license. Then psychologist said that, gentlemen, you are inspired by the discipline of army. So this is discipline in your life. After 30 to 35 minutes of long interview, all other answers that he replied were good enough. But due to this one situation that I am inspired by the discipline of army or sir, I am coming in the army because I want to get Shaheed in army. Responses like that, I think, sir, they are very terrible answers and he got not recommended from his interview. So uh, that was my interview discussion that I have told you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. That was a really amazing experience. Achha, our candidates ko aap ye bataye ki aapki English baat achhi hai. To aapne apni English ko kaise better kiya? Kyunki baat se candidates ka ye masla hai ki English unki baat weak hoti hai, jiski wajah se wo baat zada khaf zada hota interview ko lekar. To iske mutalik hamen bataiye ga. Sir, I would like to share my experience that uh, I don't belong to a well citizenship area. I am from rural area, Chatan Sharif, that is near industry. After the proper guidelines of my teachers and my family members, when they said to me that always think in English, then I started to think in English. Uh, I followed their instructions given to me. Uh, then I started to think in English. I never speak uh, English until 2016. In 2017, when I joined my school and further colleges, I started to speak in English. Uh, at that spot, I realized that what's the importance of thinking in English. And I was really astonished and amazed about my own self that how can I speak in English in so frequent way without any hesitation. So my 
a wonderful uh, advice to all of you is that that being a student i am not a professional i am also a student like you so being a student this is my advice to you that think in english and you will be able to groom your english ji thank you so much zishan uh, that was a wonderful experience or बहुत मज़ा आया हमें सुन के उम्मीद है कैंडिडेट्स आपको भी बहुत सी चीज़ें सीखने को मिली होंगी और एक स्पेशल चीज़ के इंग्लिश को कैसे बेहतर बनाया जा सकता है जिशान ने बताया कि ट्राई टू थिंक इन इंग्लिश दिस इज़ द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट थिंग यू कैन डू टू इम्प्रूव योर इंग्लिश ऐसी मजीद इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज़ के लिए हमारे साथ जुड़े रहें कैंडली सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज़ अल्लाह तब नासर हो पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद